Hello and welcome to Radwolfen Bushcraft. In this video we will have a look at a very powerful medicinal plant, True Comfrey or Symphytum officinale, also known as Common Comfrey, Bone Set, Knit Bone or Quaker Comfrey. Comfrey can be found on the entire Eurasian landmass. Its habitat reaches from Spain to Western Siberia and even China. The plant has also been introduced to Northern America. Comfrey prefers moist soil which is high in nutrients, such as clay soil or banks close to creeks and agricultural ditches. The plant furthermore prefers sunny and sometimes half shady locations. Growing towards an average height of 30 to 100 cm, the plant features very distinct felted or wire-haired leaves which are elongated and lance-shaped. Another unique characteristic of comfrey are its extremely pronounced leaf veins. Please also note the myriad thick hairs on the lower side of this leaf. The upper side of the plant's leaves appear to be rather fleshy and also covered in thick hairs. Please also note the sunken, broad and distinct petiole. I strongly recommend using your sense of touch to help you identify the true comfrey. Leaves appear to be somewhat stiff and succulent when being swept, and give the impression of handling a piece of rough felt or wool. Another characteristic is the alternating pattern of the emerged leaves and flowers. Both do grow in a spiral around the main stem of the plant. The flowers themselves appear in clusters and are either of a bright yellowish-white or a radiant reddish-purple color. The five original petals of a single flower are adnate or intergrown, giving it a very distinct shape resembling that of a bell or a chalice. Those flowers are attached to hanging pedicels of 2 to 6 mm in length. Here we can see another flower cluster which just started developing flower buds. At a later stage, these flowers will attract bumblebees. The flowering period of the true comfrey lasts from May to August. Throughout this period we can harvest this plant to make use of its myriad contents such as allantoin, choline, phenyl acrylic acid as well as a variety of tannins and mucins. The plant can be used for the external treatment of bruises, sprains, distortions, pulled muscles and, as its trivial names bone set and knit bone suggest, even the consolidation of broken bones. I suggest processing comfrey into an ointment. If you want to learn how to make ointments yourself, please click on the video linked in the top right corner of the screen. This video will guide you through the process step by step. Also comfrey leaves and roots do contain a large amount of proteins. These proteins are comparable to animalic proteins and can provide us with plenty of calories. Nevertheless, comfrey should only be eaten momentarily and in small quantities, as the plant contains pyrolysidine alkaloids. These alkaloids are harmful to the liver, can cause liver failure and are furthermore suspected to cause cancer. Please use this plant in moderation only. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and to leave a comment. Please also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to check out my other videos on foraging and medicinal plants. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.